Arno, thank you so much for joining us here at Impower 2024. Thank you for welcoming me. Right from the start, we've been hearing a lot about technology, its impacts, and of course, AI. AI isn't new, so why is it now being talked about so much in this industry? Yeah, indeed, you're right. And AI is not a new topic. We've been working on it for many years now. But the new thing is, re is really the, um, the Gen AI, generative AI, that put back this topic on the front. And it's re-triggering some uh, really new stuff, really new uh, possibility for the market and the business we're in. So we have traditional AI that still represents something like 80% of the project, but 20% on Gen AI and we'll keep progressing. So that's probably the reason why. And you know that in our daily life, we're all using tools like chat GPT and so on and so forth. So that's probably the reason why. Indeed, AI is so commonplace in everyday life now. Why do you think it has taken so long for it to become mainstream in banking in this way? Yes, you're right. Everybody was expecting uh, AI and Gen AI to be uh, live quite rapidly in the business side. But we have to keep in mind that AI is closely linked to data. And when we come to data, I think that all of us, we don't want our data to be spread around, not knowing what is done with the data. So. If you link data with AI, we have to be sure that our data, the data we produce, we manage, stays in a secure environment. So that's the reason why it's taking so long, because you have to take care of all those data being in a private cloud, being in a private tenant of OpenAI, Gemini, or all those new um, large language models. So that's probably the reason why it's taking so long, but I think it's for good, because uh, we cannot rely on uh, every open data and open source. Uh, Absolutely, and the quality of the data is obviously indeed. very important as Absolutely. well. So in the, in the big picture sense, what do you think are the great benefits of, of the adoption now that we are seeing sort of properly in place? Yeah, so there are many, in fact. And one really funny example in that when we asked all our business line to provide us with some uh, use cases, we reached more than hundreds. So we were moving from getting use, ca use cases to managing expectations. and. In a nutshell, if we want to classify the benefits, we can say that we've seen document reading, extraction of data, uh, generation of static content, generation of dynamic content, and everything around reconciliation. So that's, like I say, is the fourth pillar we are working on when we talk about Gen AI and AI uh, as a whole. So huge benefits, I would say. Huge benefits, but obviously alongside those, there is risk. How do you mitigate that and what are you most aware of in this sort of in those terms? I will get back to um, the link between AI and data. We have to be sure that the data that are used to train the models and all the AI stuff are of high quality. And you mentioned it, so that's really important. We have to be sure that the data is available, of high quality and really well managed. So we get back to data governance and I would say that to mitigate risk, we have to pay more attention on the data side that on the algorithm and AI side, but even if uh, both are working together. So that's, that's the way we pay extra care to uh, the data quality, I would say. And just finally, how would you categorize where CASIS are in that AI journey themselves? So we started the journey, let's say three years ago with traditional AI models, predictive AI, I would say, that are now rolled into production. It's working pretty well, really nice results. And we've just launched on the market two new, um, two new uh, topics on generative AI, one to help our RFP uh, team to better answer and quickly answer the due diligence RFI RFP. And the second one is um, one I've just mentioned that is reading documents, non-formatted documents, extract the right data and feed our master database. So really promising. And just to give you a rough idea, it's more than 1,000 men days saved per year. So we really count on this new technology. Exciting, innovative space for you to be in, Arno. Thank you so much for sharing your Thank thoughts. Thank you very much. Today. Great to see you. Have a nice day.